What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're gonna be talking about binary search. And if you are a junior self-taught developer, uh, look, just looking to get a job, you probably don't need to know binary search, but if you're a college student, somebody looking to get into top tier tech, absolutely gonna have to know binary search. And it's a pretty handy algorithm to know. But it has a very important disclaimer. This is very important, so pay attention. You can only search sorted data. If the data is not sorted, it's not going to work. And the reason it's not going to work is because of almost the way that it is. It's similar to searching through like a phone book or a very large book. Like if I gave you a big copy of War and Peace and I told you to find page 600, you know, some odd number, what you would do is you would open it and you would look, oh, okay, uh, you'd probably open it in the middle and you say, okay, like I'm on page 300, this isn't the right page. Then you would eliminate the left half, then you would kind of half it again and you would repeat this process till you find it. Like you're literally just halving the pages until you are narrowing it down to you get to a certain page. And if the pages are out of order, like think about it, if you opened a book and the pages were out of order, like it would literally make zero sense. So always remember that so let's just kind of like walk through it and it sounds kind of corny and kind of trite like every single algorithm interview kind of makes you it says to to walk you through it but i'm literally going to walk you through this step by step in baby steps and we're going to continuing these baby steps until finally you can take the training wheels off and you can actually do this algorithm on your own so what you want to do whenever you're whenever you're doing a binary search always find the start find the end and that's like the first thing you should do just kind of out of habit or out of example then the second thing you want to do is remember i said that whenever you open a large book you're probably going to open it up right in the middle and the way that you find the middle element is you add the start plus the end so you go start plus end and then you divide it by two and that just kind of you know makes sense. Start plus n divided by two, and in our case, it's 3.5. And because this is decimal division, it's going to be three. So we found now we found our midpoint. We found the middle part of the book. So we go zero, one, two, three. The other thing is that you find the start and the end based on the index. Don't add one plus eight because that's not going to work. You want to add zero plus seven because that is, um, it, that's where the actual location is. You don't want to add one plus eight. It'd be like adding the pages of the book and trying to <laughs> define it that way. You're, it's, it's index based. So logically, you know, now we've just, we've flipped open the book and we've looked at the middle and you're going to say to yourself, is this, like if you've opened up the middle page of the book and it was the six that you're searching for, let's just say we're searching for six, congratulations, like you found the middle of the book, you found what we're looking for, but most of the time that's not gonna be the case. So what's really gonna happen is you're going to eliminate the lower half. So you're just gonna go, okay, so this part is not it. And then you ha what's going to happen is you're going to have a new start and you're going to have a new end and then you're going to find a new midpoint. That's kind of like the beauty of it. Like you're literally, you're just finding midpoints through this whole entire thing. Like if I had to describe it, like you're just assigning new midpoints in a binary search. That's kind of like the beauty of it. And then you're going to say, okay, the new middle is now six because I've assigned new starts and I've found new ends and congratulations, you found the middle of the book or you found the page that you want because you halved it and you found it. So you can stop, uh, We've so we found it that way. So now we're gonna kinda get into the big leagues. We're doing more, what we did was like baby step, you know, like little baby trying to crawl. We were crawling. Now we're gonna start kind of, you know, take our first steps walking with some more complicated pseudocode. And here's what I would do. I would copy this down, I would copy this down if I were you, I, don't, I can't force you to, but copy this down and try to memorize this word for word and then just copy this down and have like a place that you can practice it, this, and also have like a, a nice little array that you can practice on. And I actually, what I love to do is I like to practice algorithms on a sweet little Wacom tablet, but you don't have to do that. Like I just, I bought like a $50 Wacom tablet and I, I just like to practice algorithms on this thing all day because it's so much fun. So 
as we did before first thing we're going to find our start we're going to find our end we're going to find our midpoint and down here we have like these nice little cool values for us so we're going to have zero we're going to have our end and we're going to have our midpoint it's going to be three because it's uh, zero plus seven divided by two is equal to three point five i don't know why that two is there so we're going to get that out of the way and it's going to be three it's actually 3.5, but because it's decimal division, it's just going to be 3. So now what we have is our new value right here, which is going to be 7. So what you do is you look at 7. And our search value, let's just say our search value is going to be 2. I didn't even think to fill out our search value. So our search value is going to be 2. What you're going, You know that this value right here is uh, less than and it would be like that in any case whatever number that you're searching for so what we would do is we can totally get rid of this whole entire thing so our new start and our new end so this is going to be our new start this is going to be our new end and now we need to find a new midpoint so let me see so here now our new end is going to be three so zero plus three our new midpoint is going to be 1.5 and because it's decimal division it's now going to be a 1 and that's going to be our new value so is negative 15 smaller or less than negative 2 it is uh, less than so now what we're going to do is we're going to assign a new midpoint to the start so before we assigned a new midpoint to the end keep that in mind before this was our midpoint and now because the number is larger or that yeah the number is smaller than the number that we are searching for we are going to assign a new midpoint to the star that's a very 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 key point depending on where if it's larger or smaller is where you're going to assign that new midpoint like just think about like the whole entire idea behind a binary search is you're literally just assigning new midpoints so don't let don't let that entire thing freak you out so our new star is going to be our midpoint plus one. So our midpoint plus one. Midpoint plus one is going to be, so our new midpoint is going to be two. And our end is going to be the same. So two plus three, let me see. So our new midpoint is going to be five divided by two because two plus three is equal to five and five, Let's see five divided by two is equal to 2.5. We drop the integer or we drop the decimal and it's going to now equal to two. So what's gonna happen? Our new midpoint is going to be two. We don't really even have, I guess we have a start and an end now, but our new st uh, end, our new, start, our new start and end is going to be on the, the 15 and the 7 our new midpoint is going to be 2 and what's going to happen is is when we flip open the new book and we have that new midpoint it's going to equal the midpoint and we've found our number so that may be a little bit confusing but if you go through it a couple more times i guarantee you, you get it it's not really that difficult you just kind of have to understand those midpoints so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start coding this thing up so we're going to go int we're going to go int array is equal to we're just going to initialize an array with all those exact numbers that we had in our example so we're going to go negative 15 and we're going to go 2 we're going to go 7 we're going to go 20 we're going to go 30 and then we're going to go 54 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 let me see here and like let's try to make it the exact same as our example so let me see here 20 15 2 7 20 30 54 close enough then we're going to go in here we're going to have a console log and then we're going to have an int we're going to have a binary search and it's going to take in an array so it's going to go int array we're going to pass that in and then we're going to pass in our value you could call that a key you could call that wherever whatever you want to then we're going to go in here we're going to go 
do this nice little binary search go in there like that and then we're going to pass in a value and we're going to pass in two just like we did before and we will logically walk through it step by step just as we did on the whiteboard so first things first just as i did in my actual version you want to go through and you want to assign the start and the end so we're going to go start and the end then we're going to go down here and we're going to have a while loop you could do this with a for loop, but it's very common to see this done with a while loop and to just have the start and the end um, like that because what's going on here is start end plus while less than symbol is going to prevent criss I call it crisscrossing. So if you don't have that start and the end, what's gonna happen? What so with the with the while and the start and the end, what's going to do is it's going to stop it from like actually crisscrossing. But if you don't have them, it's going to sit there and it's going to search the start and the end, and then it's going to kind of go into negative numbers, and you're not going to be able to solve the algorithm because it's just going to begin searching negative values like crazy. So we're going to go in here. We're going to go midpoint is equal to start plus end, and we're going to do divided by two. You also want to make sure that you put in parentheses, put the start and end in the parentheses because I can't spell parentheses because it will add them incorrectly. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna add, it's gonna divide the end divided by two and it's gonna add the start and it, the number, the midpoint is always gonna be correct. So just as we did before, we've got everything else. What do we need to do next? We need to search the middle of the book. Search the middle of the book, essentially. And we're gonna go if input, actually we're, uh, this is int array. So we're gonna go int array is equal to the midpoint that we just found is equal to the value. And remember, this is essentially you're flipping to the middle of the book. You're flipping to the new midpoint that we assign. And then if it's correct, and the very first search that you get is somehow magically the middle of the book, you found the middle, You've or you found the number that you're searching for. So if the middle of the book is the number that you're searching for, don't search anymore because you found it. But 99% chance that's not gonna happen. So what you wanna do is do like we did before. You want to compare the compare the int in the array to the midpoint so to the midpoint and if it's less than the value that's when you want to go in here and you want to assign a new start to the to the midpoint and you want to do plus one and then the exact opposite is going to be the case so if it's not if it's greater than that's when you want to actually assign the real midpoint and that is pretty much the whole entire algorithm right there. And then if this whole entire iteration happens and you don't find anything, the number doesn't exist in there and that is pretty much it. So we're gonna go through here, we're gonna go ahead and assign this debugger and we're gonna step through this one by one. And what I typically do is I'm gonna clear all this out and go in here and begin assigning watches. So we're gonna go add watch. We're gonna go add watch. Make sure we get our midpoint. We've got our array. We're gonna do our start and our end. Oh, I found something something wrong. So we want this to be length. That is not what we want right there. And I'm actually now that I've found an error I'm just gonna go through here and make sure everything's looking good so we got our values nothing else seems to be off I hope not and we're gonna go through we're gonna run it again and I'm gonna add watch to the end add watch to the start and watch these values get assigned so our end is seven and just like we did in the previous one so Let's just go through and we're gonna step through it one more. We're gonna go through on the whiteboard and we're just gonna follow along step by step. So we're searching for two. 
we assign our start just like every single one before it we assign our start we assign our end it's going to be seven now what's going to happen is we're going to go find our midpoint so we're going to go through here we're going to find our midpoint our midpoint is three so we go here what's going to happen start end three so our mid this is our midpoint so now is it going to be the middle one it's not going to be the middle one this is not two this is not the number that we are searching for watch what happens it's going to assign the new end so our new end is going to be the midpoint then we go in here actually get rid of this so our new end is going to be three and that is going to be our new midpoint then it's going to go through it's going to do the exact same thing it's just going to assign a brand new midpoint so our new midpoint is going to be one going here our new midpoint is going to be so this is going to be our new endpoint this is going to be our new midpoint and it's going to do the comparison one more time so we're just going to go step through then it's going to assign it to the start so the start is going to now be two so let me see so we go here zero one two or the new midpoint is going to equal two let me see here so midpoint is equal to one the start is equal to two and the end is equal to three so actually let me just go through so here we go it's going to do the exact same thing our start is equal to two our end is equal to one and it's going to assign that new midpoint so our new midpoint is equal to two and it found the midpoint value and that is exactly how the binary search works anyway i hope that you guys enjoyed this video as much as i did making it if you did make sure to hit that like button make sure to hit that subscribe button and as always thank you for watching